This story starts down in the Cayman Islands, where iguanas and wild chickens are such a big pest, people are getting paid $10 per kill just to get rid of them. Then we're gonna be checking in on Florida's iguana problem. We've got a few big iguanas on the list that have been causing serious problems for the homeowners. But for now, let's meet up with my buddy Mullet Man. Let's start hunting some iguanas in the Cayman Islands. What's right, up, guys? What's up, Greg Gay? <laughs> we're out here right now. We're doing some iguana hunting. Now, these iguanas on this island, are they invasive? Long story short, we're out here to just kill as many iguanas as we possibly can. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty much it. Let's just do it. You see him? Yeah. See how got one in it? He's got one in it. Let's see him, Mike. See a big one? Now, would that oh, be considered oh, oh, a small? Oh. oh, his tail. Would that be considered a small? I think that's a medium. Really? So one thing you may notice us saying is size large, medium, small. Eddie, the guy we're with, actually like gets paid by the government to kill these iguanas for a small one, five bucks, medium, seven bucks. And was it for a large one, 10? 10. That's yep. pretty good. Oh, we got him. how quiet this thing is. I know, it's awesome. As you see us shooting these iguanas, one thing you may notice is that we're using an air gun. And that's because since the Cayman Islands is a completely different, you know, country and stuff, guns aren't really allowed even for hunting. And for Eddie to get this air gun, he had to get a special permit, which is super hard to get, which is one reason why all these things are out of control. Tell us a little bit about what gun we're using right here. So this is the FX Crown. MK2, you can get it at Utah Air Guns. Mm -hmm. caliber. 22 caliber, how many grains? 18 point. What's their mouth look like? Teeth or? Oh yeah. Yeah, you gotta be careful with that. Oh wow. Look at that. Oh gosh. Big one up top. Now, so far we've not filmed all the kills just because there's there's a bunch there's a bunch of them so far how many you think we got today at it we'll say in 20. and with the different sizes we'll say average of ten dollars so far two hundred dollars we've been at this maybe an hour yep. give or take two hundred dollars an hour i may take that job over uh, the old youtube adsense <laughs> after wiping out a tub full of iguanas it got dark and it was time to go after another pest on the cayman islands which believe it or not are actually wild chickens we are currently out here right now guys we are actually hunting the chickens we come out here and we do it at night because all the chickens are roosted and whenever they're this big of a pest you're just trying to kill them however you really can so and yeah we're just going to walk around with lights and then do a little bit of pest control chicken pest control chicken never done this control. before do I look like a chicken hunter? You look like a chicken hunter. That's what we like to do. You kind of look like Chicken Little. <laughs> I'll take you. Oh, there's some chickens. Okay, here we go. You want to take these two right here, me and you? Same time? Yeah. I'll go far left. Okay, I'll stay under that. Three, two, one. All right, well, you might be able to get this other one to the left. Shoot the one in the tree. The last one. Yeah, shoot it. Oh, missed it. There we go. He beat you. Well, there's five right five there. Five right there. There's chicken hunting right there. Running around like a chicken with his head shot off. It's crazy. So if you're anything like me, you're probably wondering how in the world the chickens go feral in the first place. Well, there's a few different theories, but one of the main ones is that back in 2004, whenever the big hurricane came, it actually wiped out a lot of the Cayman Islands, which also wiped out a lot of the Cayman Islands chicken coops. One thing leads to another, chicken coops go down, chickens go everywhere. There's no predators on the island. So long story short, the chickens, they thrive. And to the point that they're actually a pest because they're eating all kinds of fruit that's growing on the island, which is supposed to be for the people to eat. Spotted an iguana up there. While we're out here, we can go ahead and take it. There he goes. Did you see any more in that tree or? Okay. KFC for a straight so from Kentucky. So far, from what I can tell, we've just shot hens. Where's all the roosters at? I don't know. We're going to shoot roosters, don't worry. <laughs> Usually, <laughs> hens and roosters are about equal or what? Um, we shot more roosters the other night yeah. than we did hens. Huh. We you guys like just 35 whatever. roosters to 10 hens. Get him, get him. 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 Get
in. That guy. There we go. Right in the eye. Here we go. Big green one. Yep. banana tree. I don't know what kind of yard we're in right here, but there's about every kind of fruit I've ever heard of here, and most of them that I have. This is crazy. A lot of stuff here. A rat. Oh, a rat. He's right here. Real close. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A rat. Wow. The rat is coming down. He is not down, though. I got him. Hold him up. Let's see what you got. Have you ever killed many rats for? No. Really? I mean, we could catch and cook it, but what? I'll leave that up to you. Got them whoop. Catch and cook it. That's an island rat. You gonna eat it? No, you can. Nah, I'm good. Uh huh. All right, I see. Okay. You're shooting at the brown one, the black one, or this one? The brown. Maybe the black one. Ready? Yep. I can see it right here. I got him. Got him. Here we go. It's <laughs> a big hand. Now we're heading over to Florida to check out their iguana problem. And I'm teaming up with Deer Meat for Dinner because we got a special call that three iguanas in particular have been causing serious problems for the homeowners. Public enemy number one goes by the name of Turisto Verde, aka the Green Terrorist. Every time I come home, there's poop literally raining all down the front of the house. And then it sits up here and I can look out my bathroom window and I feel like someone's staring at me. Look in the window, I look out the window and they're there. Yeah, Not kidding. Really. She yes. said to when she takes a shower, when they hear the water coming, do they go up and start yes. looking in the window? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that right, right there. there. <laughs> He's yeah. like, He's looking out the window. Yeah. After seeing the green terrace checking us out from above, we decided, hey man, let's just go ahead and end this right here, right now. Rob pulled out the air gun, and after taking a test shot to make sure we're still zeroed, we got in position, we let that thing rip. Oh geez, look at this. He's coming down right now. All right, yeah, he's gone. He should be coming down the other side. And rip it did. I made a perfect shot, but a shot so perfect that- Only one problem. Yeah, on the roof. Gotta get him off the roof. He immediately died and kind of got stuck on the roof. I don't know Ooh. how flexible you are, uh -huh. but I don't think I'll do that well. I'll probably cave the roof in. So you wanna go up there and get him? Since I didn't really wanna go climb on a roof and potentially fall off and break my neck, we had to get creative. Shooting them's one thing, but yeah. then getting them off the roof so we don't have a rotting iguana is another thing. Or if you don't have any broken legs. Yeah. <laughs> you got a fishing pole or anything? When you're looking for uh, iguanas, you never know when you're gonna find somewhere good to fish. <laughs> or you, you pull it off the roof with the fishing pole. When I catch this thing and I bring them down, you gotta make sure you get them in the net, okay? You ready, Em? Yeah! Get your yeah. net! What can you tell us about how uh, they've been coming further north every year? Well, whenever the iguanas started, we only heard about them down south, like in the Keys of Miami. Mm -hmm. But each and every year, those iguanas, these iguanas, the green iguanas, have moved farther north. We're even seeing them up in as far north as Fort Pierce now, and they grow much faster than what we thought originally. I mean, you can take a, a, a little baby and in a year or two, he's a big old giant iguana. And so when you have a, a, a four or 500 of them and all of them are laying eggs, they reproduce really, really fast. After taking out Turisto Verde, it was time to move on to public enemy number two and three. Two massive orange iguanas that goes by the name El Diablo and Osama Biguana. When we first saw them, Rob was pretty confident this was the biggest iguana he had ever seen. But as we took a look around, we noticed that in this yard, there was iguanas all over the place. And instead of pulling out the air gun and taking out one or two before they all scattered, we decided to pull back and go build a homemade iguana trap to see if we could catch multiple at one time. So after setting the trap with mangoes and watermelon, we came back the next day and unfortunately we had only caught one lizard. But even though the traps didn't really work out the way we wanted them to, we didn't let that stop us from hunting down El Diablo and Osama Biguana. And it didn't take long to spot El Diablo, creeping out from under a bush to see what the heck was going on. Perfect. Bruh. I got him! really wants that iguana. Mm -hmm. We might uh, need to get some snorkel gear. Yeah. Scuba tank. 
Oh, he's going. Oh, he's under. He's going under. Yeah, a lot of times the iguanas go down and they grab a hold of like a root or a branch or something and then just die. And then and they just stay there. He's right here. All right, we just lost Rob. <laughs> He's in a hole. He's in a hole right here. Oh, there's his foot. I got him right here. Unbelievable. <laughs> Look at that. That's like a six footer. Unbelievable. Wow. I got water all up my nose. <laughs> uh oh, Rob's dying. Think of all the damage this guy's done. As soon as I was shooting at him, the neighbors came out and said, Get him, get him. That's exactly why the traps didn't work because it was too big. What an animal, what a beast. And then we looked over and there was Osama Big One. Look, look, look. Yep, you ready? Yeah, go. I'm gonna try to get in the water. Oh, Osama, we got him! <laughs> Damn! Get him! Oh, shoot that one. I haven't seen alligators recently. <laughs> Alright, Ralph's got it. He's got it. <laughs> Where's he at? He's right at your feet. <laughs> no, that's a stick. Uh, oh! Oh, my leg! He bit me on the leg! Unbelievable! Oh, he wasn't dead yet. He bit me right there on the leg! He's right there. He's right there. He's I right see here, him. right here, right here. Right in front of you. You see him? Yeah, yeah I see straight his head. in front of you. Close your eyes and we'll tell you if you're close. <laughs> How big is he? <laughs> that's Osama. Big Wana. <laughs> if you hesitate, you're too late. <laughs> Come on, boys. We're going home. <laughs>